Big up SJ from OFB. I haven't heard what's going on with him. A lot of you guys messaging me. But you guys would be interested to know, before his whole thing, the music and drill and everything like that, he was going to be a footballer. Uh, actually got to semi-pro. Uh, you got to give this guy a credit. Like, semi-pro footballer is not easy to get to. Think about how many kids in the UK want to be a footballer. It's not easy to get to that level. So, him having a gift in football and the gift in music and being in the position he is now, it is, it's sad to see, man. Like, it's sad. It's the people you surround yourself with. I always tell people like this, like, if you want to get around, if you're going to be around certain people in them situations, you're going to find yourself in that same situation. He needs to put himself around musicians. I mean, if he if he doesn't go down for what he's going for now and he gets a second chance, like some of these rappers do get a second chance when they do something like this or blah, blah, and he doesn't do as long inside, if he is guilty, we don't know. Um, he needs to surround himself with new musicians. Like, why surround yourself with people from the street? You're going to be in street stuff. They're not going to want to drag you. They're not going to motivate you. And some of the closest people to you don't want to see you do well so people probably like around him that cared about him and not talking about OFB members because they're all in the same thing um, so surround yourself with just OFB members and people that are going to help you with this music positive people bring positive things to your life and he probably was still around people from the street and got caught up in this situation he got caught up in and now look you ain't gonna be making music you ain't doing nothing you're just sitting down for what an image an image until you're forgotten about a year or two from now his buzz is just gonna keep dying down although he's got a lot of talent you know, we we got we got to talk to them about this because people need to learn. Like, there's no there's no energy. Me, I've gone through my legal issues. I've still got some stuff going on now. Um, but if I had the attention or the buzz and opportunity that, that they had been given, I would execute it the best I can. Like, literally, if you're from a certain area or a certain place, you would appreciate getting that opportunity. And some people just don't. Or some sometimes with Esher, I got to give him credit. It might have happened when he weren't as big, you know. And you know, even like. Millions of views on YouTube can be deceiving because sometimes they ain't getting money just because they're getting views as well. But you've got to, that's why you've got to invest in the manager. You've got to invest in this guy because why, why can SJ could easily sell out shows from years, from like a year ago or two years ago when his buzz was a little small, smaller, he could sell out shows still and do small stuff. you just got to disconnect yourself, man, and focus. SJ is an incredible talent, incredible. Digger D's on the same thing at the moment. And various people are young artists that come up and... Um, they get an opportunity, and before you know it, they've blown it. Like, it's horrible. And, you know, some rappers do come back, and that's what maybe they think. Like, because we see people coming out of prison years later and still can recreate that buzz and blah, 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 and it makes them bigger. But at the end of the day, nothing's going to make up for all that time and that work you could have put in. He was a semi-pro footballer as well. Like, this guy's gifted. You've got to be smart, man. Put your mind to it, and hopefully we get he gets another chance and he's... I don't want to see him in prison for a long time because he's so talented. But obviously someone lost their life, so we've got to be sensitive to that. But, um, you know, we don't, want to, we don't want another youngster losing his life, especially if he weren't guilty of what happened. Um, but I'm going to try to find out about his trial. It's not easy. A lot of the stuff in the UK, the media-wise, is secretive. If you look at what's going on with 6 9 at the moment. You can see that case and blah, blah, what's going on. But in the UK, we don't get that same uh, insight. But you can still get some articles and stuff that you can find out. But um, Big M up, he's definitely talented. And I just hope he gets his life together at some point and becomes as big as his potential sees him to.